All right, guys, something a little bit different today. We're here at the local flea market, but I'm actually turning up a little bit later. I'm going to go and try and negotiate a couple of deals in the last hour of the flea. And fingers crossed that can result in some lowered price points and we can come away with some pretty epic deals. Don't know if it's going to work, but I'm pretty interested to see. Let's jump into it. What size are the Nikes? Like 9.5 or a 10 by the size to be under the size 10 men's 10. Yeah. How much on them? Uh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. I'm gonna go and get some money out, but I'll take them. Yeah, after we put them aside. Yeah, yeah. I'll be two seconds. Thanks, mate. Appreciate Cheers. it. All right, guys, we are underway. The first purchase of the day. These are the Nike, uh, they're the MX 97s, and I've bought these a few times. So to see them in relatively good condition, um, I was pretty happy with that. 10 bucks, I should be able to put them into about, given the condition, maybe 50 or $60. If they're in great nick, upwards of 100 bucks. Oh, g'day, mate. Hey, brother, how are you? How's things? Let me get you on. No, I don't want to be on. The great man. Oh, shit. The thrift goat. Hello. How are you? Who's the thrift goat? You. Flip goat. You're not the flip goat. I'm Did the you flip change goat. your name? Yeah. Did you change your name? You didn't know. Oh, I didn't know. Are you literally on Instagram now, flip goat? Yeah. Okay, well, everybody go and follow the flip goat, the great no, man. What'd you buy? Show us what you bought. Let's do uh, a show and tell. Actually, actually. Oh, well done. Brand right, new yeah. and sealed? Yeah. How much you pay? 15. That's all right. 15. Well, for that? 15. Oh, I'd have paid 15. Yeah. Well done. What about these? Oh, they're nice. You got nine, you buy six, them? and eight. No, man. This is why we come out. They'll no, bring no, you no, a I was saying, what would you pay for it? Uh, I'd pay $5 each, would be nice. Done. No, get what? out of here. I'm not taking that off. I don't Stop want to sell doing them. this. I'm you, do for you. This. you do this all the time. I've got to buy something for you. My little pony. This is the bargain of the day. Is it? What Look do you got? This? Bam. Digimons. $1. Holy. So there's a bunch of old ones there. You got them for a dollar? Dollar for the whole lot. Dude, that's. I reckon that's like a $20. Well, you never know. Some of them could be worth a lot. Yeah. That's really good. Hello, Joe. Hi, Joe. How are you going? That's because I haven't been here for ages. I'll take that off, yeah? Yeah, You know I love my hats. Yeah. I don't know what they are, but they're good. So I just got four on all them. Four bucks? I'll give you I'll give you ten for that. Happy with that? Hello guys. How are you going? Not bad. How's it been this morning? Not too bad? Uh, How much on these ones? 25 for you. How about 20? No, I sell 35. Did you say 35? I sell for 35, but you 25. Me for 25? Yep. What size are they? Size 10 women's. Yeah. 20 on those? Yep. You happy with that? For you. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. I'll do 20 on those. All right, the blue baggers are playing some pretty good footy at the moment. So I've gone ahead and I've grabbed this hat. This supporter hat should go for about 20 to $25. I love selling my hats. You guys already know that. Um, I grabbed all of this off Jo as well. She's a lovely lady. She was actually just telling me, Matt, um, she had a heart attack recently. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. She had a heart she's, she's, she's already back at the flea. She absolutely loves it. But um, yeah, so... Really want to support Joe, um, so I bought these uh, off her as well, these ASICS running shoes. Um, she's not thrifting so much anymore, she's just recovering and whatever she has at home, she's bringing it down to the floor. Um, I also grabbed this off her, it was a Nike top. Um, look, it's it's cool, it's um, it's not cool actually, is it? Matt, you didn't like it. Um, we'll maybe get 15 to 20 bucks out of it. I just wanted to, I just wanted to help her out, you know? Um, I also grabbed these shoes, again, off another lady down here at the flea market that always looks after me. She said she was selling them for $35. I think they're like the XYZ 365s or something they're called. Bunch of international sales around the 60 to $80 price point for these ones. Um, so she, yeah, she said 35. I said, how about 20? You stalled for a little bit and then they come down in price. This is exactly what I did. I played the silence card. And uh, yeah, I struck for 20. So I'll try and sell it for 60. Don't know what the sell through rate will be on them, but Nike, obviously a very good brand. So uh, a couple of little buys in that run. There's, there's definitely a few things out here to find. So I'm not gonna give up just yet. We're gonna keep moving on. We'll see what else we can grab. Is there anything in particular you're looking for? Um, TV shows. Um, I have True Blood here. True Blood. I think it's your little, um, your little DVD TV show area in here, hey? Yeah. House Husbands, 
different reminds. How much are you selling them for? Um, so sets like this, I can do five dollars. Five bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you got the shield. And that one there. How much on that one? Um, a dollar. Dollar. The individual ones. Yeah. This one. Yeah, dollar. Dollar, dollar. That one. That one. Um, two dollars. So we go four bucks. Yeah. Uh, what else can we do? Matty, what else can we do, mate? What are you saying? It's Game of Thrones, I think. You got Thrones and you got Family Guy? Yeah. How much on Thrones? Um, all of, so how many would you want? Would you want all of those? Boy, if I did them all, yeah. Um, how many are there? Um, you can have five for that one. Five yeah. on that, so we're at nine. Um, what else? I'll do Criminal Minds. Oh, actually, is that a Region 4? Yeah, it's Region That's, 4. Yeah. 10? Yep. All right, well, I think I'm locked away on 10 bucks. Okay. I don't think there's anything else. Do you want to do that? Yeah, it would be amazing, mate. Let's do it, 10 bucks. How have these, how have these not sold today? Uh, I have no idea. They're practically new. I wore them in one triathlon race. Yeah? I haven't worn them since. Haven't worn them since? No. Well, what are you selling them for? $100. Oh, well, that's why I haven't sold. Yeah. <laughs> we retail there, though. 360. I know they're good shoes, but you're at the fleet. Yeah, not yeah, yeah, I just put on Facebook. What about the Scarpers? Um, I go for 50 for HM. Yeah, see, that's why, man. They can get them on eBay or something. But, um. If you, put it, if you had an eBay store. Yeah. Yeah, put them on eBay. All right, guys, the next category is we've had a big DVD find here. Look, these were just a dollar a piece. They were all TV show seasons. We know that they sell well, so I've gone ahead and picked them up. Um, I was a little bit disappointed that Game of Thrones wasn't actually season one to five. What I want to say about this one is there's eight seasons of this show, and if you can find the complete eight, they go for over $100 on eBay. So this is actually a really, really good show to be finding, but we've actually doubled up though with season four. There's two four seasons uh, in this mix, which is a little bit disappointing, but I'm just gonna put it to the side, keep looking. I'll list this up as is. And hopefully we can find the other seasons to make a complete set down the line. Ten bucks. Not the TNs over there, are they? Yeah. <laughs> They've been worn, though, hey? Oh, yeah. Yeah. These ones. 20, 20 on them. Is that the original box for it? No, not quite. What about we do that one, that one, that one, and those? What price have you got on that? Alright, been asking 30 for them all day and 30 for them. I'll do that for 30, 20, yep. 15, yep. and 10. So 25, 30, um, 40, 50, 65, 75. 75. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I don't know what I've done here, guys. This is a bit of, maybe a little bit of buyer's remorse, I think, with this. Um, we've got the Nike Air Max. Look at that. Oh, no. So these are the um, these are the Vapor Max Plus. They're an unreal pair of shoes. They are in pretty much light, new condition, as you can see, but they've got a big cigarette stain. I will say, though, with these shoes, there was there's no actual complete hole in them. It's just the stain on top, as you can see there. So... I paid $20 though, guys, but if they were pretty much like they are without the cigarette stain, I would have been able to sell them for about $150. So that's why I went ahead and just sort of grabbed them. Um, I did grab them in that bundle though. We had um, the Nike Air Max, the old school Nike Air Maxes. They were kind of cool. Yeah. Now these ones here, the Tiger Onisukas, this is actually Phil Knight, Nike. Um, his first ever brand when he was trying to get into the shoe game was actually Onisukas. It was the brand Onisuka that he was trying to sell. Um, so these Tiger Ronnie Seekers are actually still really quite popular, maybe for that reason. Uh, so when I saw them for $10, um, I can turn them into about $50. I've done it a number of times before. Uh, and then there was another pair of ASICs as well in the deal. So look, there were four pairs of shoes. I got $70 for them. Obviously the, um, the Vapormax Pluses uh, were one of those four. So I don't know, that's a lot of money to be spending at the flea market, especially late in the day. Everyone had passed on them, obviously for the fact that they did have the Siggy stain. So I don't know, let me know in the comments below, would you have done that yourself or would you have passed on them? I've got a funny feeling there's a lot of people that are gonna be passing. I might do um, might do this bag, yeah, and that. Sure. Yeah. 
sure. 10 bucks? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. No worries. If you enjoy these sorts of videos, guys, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 20,000 subs, and uh, it'd be awesome to have you on board. Okay, so these, <laughs> these flea market stalls are pretty much all packed up, eh? So we're gonna go, Matt's just let me know about a new stall that's opened up here at the Crow Market. It's called, what's it called? Friendly Five. Friendly Fives. Friendly Fives. So basically everything in store is just five bucks. Surely we can go in and find some profit. So we're gonna go in there now. Friendly Fives, round out a good day. You got all the good stuff. Yeah, well I got the, that's what, that's what I got. That's you got all the brand new stuff. sealed, you got Digimon. I just bought pre-owned stuff I hope will sell. Now look at this. Are these five dollars? No. Oh, well, that's a good one. I've got that one, that's a good one. Yep. So, I'm always looking for like stickers. See that glow in the dark right there? Legend of Korra? That'd be worth a bit. Yeah. No, just this one here, Legend of Korra. That one? Yeah. That'd, be, that'd, that'd go well. And it's also, see the sticker on it? Box Warehouse. Mm -hmm. that'd, that'd be all right. Got to find how much it is. Three dollar games. What about the Pokemon? Hey, Jack Irish, I'll buy that. Of this? Really? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. This is a good, that's a good show. Damn. Alright, you want to get in there, boys? This is a box of value right here. Okay, some of it's, you know, like that. But then you'll get like 95, 97 Batman. Yeah. Oh yeah, this whole box, I've already asked this 20 bucks. That's 20 right. bucks for the box? The whole box. Why don't you do that? He's worth a bit. He's worth a There's bit. two of them. Is he 93? Yes. Yeah, he's and worth He's worth like 30 bucks. There's... Oh dude, you should That's grab what it. I'm saying. No, you no, should grab it. I'm already, I've already been through here. Um, these action figures, are you doing 20 bucks on them all? That's what I heard. I'll do that. Yeah. There's some good ones in there. Yeah, all right, we'll do those. <laughs> this is definitely the coolest thing I've seen today. You remember this dude? <laughs> Alright, we just did some research and it's actually worth $25. And oh, $25? You... Oh, well, I... No, yeah. I did. no, that's yours. There you go. You got it. I've got the action figure. I'm just fucking with you. That's a cool card, though. Yeah, we'll put that in a little stack of action figures. Thank you, dude. Pleasure, my man. Thanks, guys. Thanks, heaps. Yeah, Unreal. Yeah, for what's sure, man. It? So, what's that called? Yes. Friendly Fives. Friendly Fives. Friendly fives. Oh, oh, Everyone come down. What's your name? Jai. Jai. Yeah. Everyone go down and see Jai. He's the man. <laughs> friendly, bricks, friendly, friendly Bricks. Friendly Bricks. Yeah. Friendly Bricks. Friendly Jai. Friendly Bricks. Friendly Jai. Thanks, bro. All right, a couple of really cool bags here as well. Now, I saw, I saw this, the number 18. That means it's a player-issued backpack for the Gold Coast Titans. So to pick that up for later in the day for $5 is really, really cool. And then this as well. Now this will play in with these that we just picked up. This is the Eshe starter pack. You can have Shaba. this 20 bucks. You can have this, how much? $10, $15 or double over money on it. But I reckon that's like the perfect combo. I should probably list them together, right? Eshe starter pack. <laughs> the Eshe starter pack. With a pack of Siggies. With a pack of Siggies. I'll go buy a packet of Marlboros and, uh, <laughs> and we'll sell them all off. But yeah, that's a good little bag though. You can get about $25 to $30 for that. But together, maybe we'll sell it for a hundred, who knows? With a Ziggy. With a Ziggy. <laughs> so we were saying that this Venusaur was a good buy, but I'm more interested in what all of this allotment of action figures is gonna go. I reckon, I think I've seen some comps on this. It's a 1984 Joker. And I think he's like worth like 30, 30 bucks, something like that. Um, this one as well, this Batman, he's, Oh yeah, so he's a Kenner. Kenner 1997 Batman. So I think he actually goes pretty well as well. There's just a whole bunch of them in here and this thing as well, I don't know. Do you know who he is? I don't know who he is. Let me know in the comments who that guy is, but I think we can get easily get about 10 to 15 bucks to pop on these and all of it was just $20. So to end the day on that and the Venusaur as well for 25 and we only paid $3, or you paid $3. $50. Huh? $1.50, half price. That was $1.50? Yeah. Well, that'll go for 25 pretty quick, I'd imagine. Except that I gave it to you as a gift and told you not to resell. <laughs> I'll be reselling this. Oh, damn it. I can tell you right now, I'll be reselling it. That's <laughs> all I do. Uh, um, but thank you, though. Yeah, you're right. Last one's here. We got the job done, though. That was a bit of fun. Bit of profit. Bit of profit for the boys. 
so there you go guys another day at the flea all wrapped up i'd probably say that i should probably go earlier next time because clearly the best items are always at the start of the day